vulnerability to impacts of climate change of these farmers in the lower northern part of Thailand has been um, uh, uh, based on three things. The first one is the exposure, and the second one is the sensitivity, and the third one is the adaptive capacity. If the system that you are relying on, for example, the food system, the health services, and also the water uh, availability is highly sensitive, that means you are uh, is really exposed to those changes. That means you are really highly sensitive, and we found that these people are really highly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. For the farmers in the lower northern part of Thailand, it is not just only the impacts of climate change. The social and physical impacts of climate change are making them vulnerable, but then the policy and also the solutions that are false and that are really misleaded are even making them more vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. In parts of the world, up to 80% of farmers are women. And women farmers face particular um, vulnerabilities and challenges and, and burdens as a result of um, their gender. Women may not have secure access to the land they cultivate, um, or when drought strikes, they may be required to walk long distances to fetch water for their family. Um, they may not be able to get credit to invest in making their farms more resilient. In fact, the preamble text of the Paris Agreement does, uh, is clear that climate action has to promote gender equality. Um, and our reliance on women farmers to feed the world is just one reason why gender equality, it's not just a luxury, it is a necessity. Likewise, the Paris Agreement preamble does also recommend the fundamental priority of safeguarding food security and the rights of indigenous peoples and other key human rights. And we cannot have climate action that undermines the rights of women farmers indigenous peoples. Here in Bangkok, as nations are meeting to agree the rulebook to implement the Paris Agreement, it's really key that negotiators remember that package of rights in the Paris Preamble and make these operational.